Well, hello there, my darlings, and welcome back to San Myshuno. We are in the Arts Quarter once again today at the Hunter's Penthouse, where we will be furnishing the kitchen and dining area, the main bathroom, and also the entrance hall. Well, hello there, and happy Tuesday to all of you. Welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the Hunter's Penthouse. I've done a little bit of work off of camera, my sweetheart. So I'm going to show you. Let's get the lighting a bit brighter, shall we? There we go. Gorgeous. So I've added on some more solar panels just because we've worked out what, or well, I've worked out what I need on the roof now. So we've had a few additions. I've also put in some chimneys because we do have some fireplaces in this house. There's also one in the bedroom that will show you in a sec. So I think we're going to put another one here as well. We're going to do another chimney right there my darlings yes we are indeed now i've also went ahead and i finished off the balcony areas on the rest of the house as well so if you remember this is from the teen bedrooms right here and we've just gave them a nice little bit of outdoor space a yoga mat i thought a telescope would be perfect here with these views i've also put this fence up over all of the half walls as well just for an added bit of security because these walls were still quite low compared to well the drop down you know so i'm just thinking of safety loves i'm a safety girl me so that's what i did uh i've also put this here as well this i reckon they come out here hang out with their friends do a bit of homework outdoors that kind of good vibe and they've got a nice like hangout space here with this not in the middle of those sofas how very rude of it oh god that's all off now everything's off everything's off let's flop it in that should be a bit better I've also gave them a speaker out here as well, some places to plant, some bits and bobs, and I finished off the balcony down here. Now, I did change the shape of this balcony slightly. I've made the office area a lot bigger. I've actually extended out all of this, and it still matches in really nice with the building below it, but I just needed a bit more space in this office. I wanted to do like a split level kind of platform with like a glass door moment on this side so it reduced the size of this balcony here but what we're going to use this balcony for is to just grow lots, lots of lovely herbs and spices and things like that so that's what i did what else did i do i also changed out some of the wallpapers that concrete texture was just not working in this house for me i don't know what it was i kept looking at it and i was just like it's just not for me that so i ended up changing it and we've just gone for a nice black like plain sort of stony creamy color and i've i've darkened down the master bedroom and i've put some accents in both of these bedrooms here and i've actually made this bedroom a little bit darker just so it fits in better with us sim so that's what we're going to do and i also as i said i was going to split these bathrooms off to a dressing room and their own ensuite bathroom so that's what i've done on both of them now i didn't i wanted to put a window on this side here because uh, this one here has got one, this bathroom over here. But it just looked weird from the outside. It made the, bit, the build not kind of marry in below nicely. So I've just put two little tiny windows up there going into that bathroom. And that still gives it a little bit of natural light and doesn't take away the shape of the build from the outside. So you're all caught up. What else did I do? Oh, yes. Here is the fireplace in the master suite. Don't know what layout we're going to do in here yet. I'm going to split it off somehow and separate this room off so it's... It just feels nice, but we'll get to that when we get to it. What we're working on today is this whole area here. So the kitchen and dining room going in this part, uh, the main downstairs bathroom and also the little entrance hall. And then what we'll do is come back tomorrow, do the living area, the office and this kind of like semi hallway. If you've got any ideas on what to do with this hallway, we don't necessarily have to fill it up with anything. Not at all. But if you've got any ideas, then feel free to let me know down below, my loves. Yes, we're going to make a start. We're going to make a start on the kitchen area itself. This is a very long kitchen. I don't think I'm going to put counters all the way across there. I think that would just be way too much. But what I am thinking of doing is doing maybe just where the windows are, counters, and then having a big island in the middle, and maybe some kind of seating area over here by the window there. That is the plan. Let's crack on. Hello, Tuesday is upon us, my sweets. Yes, it is. Uh, we have Let's Build the World today and tomorrow. And then on Thursday and Friday, depending on what videos are coming out, I have a shell challenge. Not my shell challenge. We will be doing one soon. But I did a shell challenge. Um, I'm going to be bringing out that. And I'm also going to be doing a video where I have to use rooms to build a house. I've got a few rules for it. 
that's coming this week as well so just be on the looks out for it my darlings yes but yeah that's me that's me i've got nothing else to say let's crack on let's crack on are we thinking black kitchen in here i think we are i don't think any um of this would suit it because of the text the um oh <laughs> i just about to say because of the wood tones but that one looks really nice in here i was not expecting that i'm not that keen on the color of the gray top but i think that might be the vibe because i did actually very much like that oh okay but this doesn't have waterfall edges does it no it doesn't so it's a toss-up really between the black uh, island living one because it comes with those beautiful gorgeous waterfall edges that i just think would suit this house beautifully uh or we go for the um dream home decorator one choices choices let me have a little think and i'll see what i choose we're going to use the dream home decorator one look at i did not think that this was going to suit it i had a plan in my head but this is going to be rather gorgeous so we're going to flop two to there two to there as well uh, I don't know if I, in fact, I think I might, I don't know if this is going to be still a bit too big. Mm, I don't like the end pieces with these. I really, really don't. I don't like how they look, the like corner moments. It's just not for me. They have got squarer ones, but I can't bear this. I don't know about anybody else, but I hate tea towels hanging from everything, anything. My kitchen is very minimal, very minimal indeed. Uh, and I hate seeing tea towels like hang from the handles of ovens or it's just not a vibe for me absolutely not a vibe if it's for you you crack on my love not for me absolutely not for me um yeah that's the only problem i don't really like how that ends on a corner there i mean i could look past it but i don't know i wanted it square i wanted a square edge so i think what i'm going to do is just finish it off with a normal counter rather than doing the end pieces that would just fit in, fit in with the aesthetics that I want to portray in this kitchen. We're going to go for this oven as well. This oven, which is from Dream Home Decorator, it is, isn't it? Yes. We're going to go for dark appliances, I think, like dark fridge and stuff. Thinking about, excuse me, thinking about putting the fridge over here. I think that's where I want to put the fridge. And maybe some kind of cupboard system over on this way. Um, Trying to remember what one goes with which is always a problem for me. Is it this one? No, it's this one here, isn't it? So it would be this one. What do you look like? Um, you look like you're a completely different wood tone in the corner over there. Uh, and I don't like you. I don't like you at all. So maybe some kind of shelving instead. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. And then for the actual island itself, I'm going to put the sink and also the hob on top of it. Uh, quite a big island. It doesn't need to be the same uh length as the counters behind it but i'm thinking about doing this here and this here can we finish it off with corners that aren't curved please because that would be great right where's this one? Oh, that is the wrong one this one here aiden getting confused once again with where to put the counters there we go this one and this one and then you over there this is a very big island and you on there let me see this oh i do think so I do. I wish that grey top was black. I think it would suit this kitchen a lot better. But I still like it. I still like it in here. I still think it suits it quite nicely. Yeah. Yeah, I'm into that. Okay. Right, we need some bar stools going all, all the way across. And I'm wondering whether or not to use the same ones that we've used, like, on the balconies. But maybe darken them down just slightly, just so we can stop getting hits of black in here. Oh, I like that in here. Yeah, let's try this one. And we'll do a big moment all the way across as well. Yeah, I do like that. We definitely need some pendulous lights coming in here. And I think I'm going to hit it with some industrial moments. So I'm going to go for that one from um, uh, Get to Work. The so things were changed slightly. And the main reasons being, loves, this, the lights really inspired me. Is that? closer yes it is you need to go mm, you might need to come in actually i think that would be, probably be the best way there we go yeah the wood it wasn't the wood tone as such the wood tone looked lovely in here but it was just the top of the gray the gray was really blue and it was just sitting against all the wood tones wrong for me so i've gone for the black and white kitchen with the gray top this gray sits in a little bit better it's, it's a little, lot more charcoal uh, and i'm kind of into that but then i was like oh i'm missing the wood tone so what i ended up doing was changing the bar stools for the browner 
um, texture. And I just think that suits that area quite nicely. I do enjoy that indeed. I do indeed. I would love a big style American fridge here, like a double door one, but we don't have any of them in The Sims for some reason. And it's very annoying. I would like to, I know these have all got double doors on, but you know what I mean. Like this one here, this big bad boy here from Little Dicker. Like I would love to put a big style, like that would just look, that looks amazing. You know, that looks so good, but obviously I would darken it down for a little bit as well. Um, We can't do that. We cannot do that because we're not using custom content and that, my loves, is a very sad day. I could put two next to each other. I have done this before, so I might even try that and go darker with that as well. Yes, let's see if we can do that. I'm going to put two fridges in. I don't normally tend to do this, but I just think it would suit this um, penthouse very much. So I'm going to flop them in next to each other and just make it look like an American style fridge. I don't think we call, I don't think you Americans call them American style fridges. You just call them a fridge. But us in the UK, <laughs> we, we call them American style because they're absolutely massive and you guys love your food. Um, Yeah, that's okay. I don't, I hate, I, it, I, I can just tell it's two fridges. So it's like jarring me looking at it, but we're going to go for it anyway. We really are. So I do want a hob. And I'm going to put the hob on top here. Should we do the gas one? I never tend to do this one very much. Are you facing the right way you are? Should we do a gas hob? Oh, do you know what? I think I'm going to. And I'm going to hang down a, an extractor above that as well. We're also going to be putting the sink on here. So what I might do is put that there and put the sink there. Just so that they're not next to each other. Uh, and I'm going to go for a darker sink as well. Which in turn makes me want to change this to a darker one as well. Yeah, that's cute. But the only problem with having that over to the side is the extractor is going to be sitting a bit too near this and that's going to make me very uncomfortable so i might even just put them next to each other and be done with it <laughs> we're going to do that we're going to do that it's not health and safety it is health and safety but it is the sims as well so we're just going to crack on right i'm going to flop you down to there as well yeah that's nice yeah i do like that i think we need some kind of shelving all the way across here i don't know if i want to do cupboards I'll try the cupboards. We'll have a look and see if the cupboards look okay. But again, with this pack, um, with Dream Home Decorator, I always think it wasn't executed very well. And this is the main cupboard and you don't want the same book on and the same box on. Do you know what I mean? It's just stupid. Like that would have been a first thought if I was making any kind of like um, kitchen for The Sims. That would be my first thought. Oh, they're going to use that one the most. Let's not copy them. But did they? Did they hell? No, I don't like these cupboards in here. We're not doing that anyway. So I went off on that tangent for no reason. No, I didn't because I didn't use them. Why am I arguing with myself? Because it's a Tuesday. That is why. And I love to have a little argument with myself on a Tuesday. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying and I have no idea what shelf I'm going to use. I tried shelves all the way across here and something just wasn't working for me. And then I realized I was not enjoying the subway tiles in this kitchen. It just looked a little bit too clinical so i wanted to warm it up slightly so i've gone for these tiles here which are from the fitness pack the fitness stuff pack and i just thought it warmed up this place we're going for a bit of, as i said the industrial kind of vibe but i still wanted a nice warmth in here so i've warmed up by putting those tiles there and i'm not going to do cupboards in here i'm absolutely not going to do it i'm going to keep it just as it is i'm fine with it Excuse me, I'm going to be burping all the way through this. You're just going to have to excuse it, my loves. We're going to put a bin in here, but I would love a bin that just looks like modern and clean and doesn't look like it belongs outside. And we don't have that, so we're going to struggle. So I'm just going to use this tall one here and darken it down as well. So we've got a bin in that area there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous things. Uh, I don't want massive stuff out on the sides, but I would like a coffee machine. I would definitely see these guys being very much into coffee. So I think I might even put it off this end. Um, it's going to be a kind of a minimalist approach in this house. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. That is indeed what we're going to do. Oh, they're just going to look so ugly out on the counter. They really do. I don't like them. I don't. I wish we could put this up. I would love this here. I want this in my house, but we can't. Oh, what about if I just did a smaller one? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with what I did. It might look a little bit ugly. I think it's because it's in front of a window that's throwing me off. But I'm gonna keep it that way anyway because I do like those windows there. 
I do like the thought of having this like light flooding in from that way. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it there. And I probably just want to add a little bit of greenery in here somehow. And I think maybe doing a nice big like vase on top of here. This one here, but the bigger one. We've got a bigger one, haven't we? This one. There we are. But this one doesn't go up on top of anything. So we're going to have to maneuver it ourselves. So that's what I'm going to do. Are you floating? Oh, you're not. Oh, well, slap me on the tits, loves. Yes, that's nice. But I do need to recolor this. Um, can I go darker with it? What would you look like? Oh, I'd like that, actually. Yes. Yes, that's a moment. That is a moment in time, and I'm for it. And maybe just... Is it called cutting board? Cutting board? Chopping board? And there she is. That's the only thing I'm going to be having it out on display. Apart from, I did get a Lindsay speaker out. And I put these shelves up here as well, just so there is at least something in here. Um, And I put them over in the corner there. I think that looks kind of marvellous. Yeah. I'm happy of how that kitchen's laid out. The, it's very far away from everything, but it's a very big place, you know? And I'd like the fact that this is kind of minimalist, so everything's tucked away in drawers. It's not all out on show. You don't need to clutter up every build, you know? Now, I am thinking, as I said, about putting in some kind of seating around here. And I might go down the route of putting in this, but just in this, this form. So we can just put that all the way along there. I won't tuck it in. I'll do three just along there so there's this nice little window bench yeah yeah i'm kind of into that actually yeah i am i'm gonna do that and i'm obviously gonna bring in the plant of dreams because that's just me that is just me and i'm gonna do it i'm gonna flop you over into this corner and pull you in a little bit tighter there just so we've got a little pop of green in here i might even uh change the color slightly oh aiden you're mixing things up I uh, don't like it. Nope, we're going to keep it. <laughs> we're going to keep it the same. But yeah, I do like that. Now, this still feels very open to me. I would love to maybe try and close this. Just maybe this side. Not so much this side. I'm going to try and close this off slightly. And I think how I'm going to do that is first off, I'm going to bring in this one. In the black, I think. Put that all the way across. And then I'm going to draw two walls here. One, two like that oh that is quite tight they should be fine and then i'm gonna put up on top of the walls i'm gonna do those um wall decorations they're like wooded slats those things there and i've used them in the black as well and i think we're gonna use these all the way along just on that part there you know yeah i like that that just adds something and i'm for it i really am we do however need to recolor that platform so we can get the full vibe um, let's see, shall we? Can we please get rid of that? And let's have a look. Yeah, that's cute. <clears throat> that just does something architecturally in my head. And I'm for it. Because there's still very wide open space. But that just gives it a little a little bit of a little bit of um, I don't know, interest. And I'm for it. Okay, right. We need a dining room down here. I definitely want some kind of bookcase in here as well. Oh, do you know what bookcase might... Oh, I don't know, actually. I think it might be a bit wide. The one from City Living. The bookcase from City Living. I think that would maybe fit in there. This one here. Oh, I think it will. <gasps> oh, a dream. Oh, a dream if I've ever seen one. Let me just try that other wood tone. Oh, I think that one's a bit better, actually. Is it? Yeah, that one's darker. I'd want a little bit of brightness over there with the wood and i put a spotlight down on this level as well so it kind of shines some light down onto that area in fact what i'm going to use is the where have i put you uh, i've put you up here no where are you these here i've put a couple of these like art lighting things so maybe like if i put this up here that will just brighten that area slightly and we'll put some more stuff up on the top of these shelves um just to give it a little bit more pizzazz and I am thinking, as I said, well, I didn't say, but I'm going to say it now. I do want, maybe if I do this, get this on here as well, this support beam. Oh God, that's going to go all the way across. I'm going to have to remember where those walls were. I think it was, uh, I don't remember. <laughs> there we go. So it's on this one here, Aiden. Remember that, okay? Remember that. Right, okay. And then if I draw a wall on here, and there was one there, like that, and then you were covered up too. Gorgeous. Right, and then I get rid of you, 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 and you, and you. 
Let me see this, please. Let me have a look. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. I like that a lot. No, I will. Um, I don't know whether to do a bit more of that business with those beams, like, on some of this. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But what I need to do is find a lovely big bit of art for up here. And also a dining room table and chairs. We're going contemporary, semi-industrial. And I wouldn't mind lightening up the chairs like this. Having a bit more of a lighter moment with the chairs. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to use uh, Hey Harry's in-game table and chairs. But we're going to do it in this really lighter wood. I played around with so many tables and chairs. And this was one of the first things I did. And I liked it the most. I like the way that this lighter wood sits in this darker room. And still looks cohesive. Um, I'm full of that. So that's what we're absolutely doing. We are going to put in this Moschino light, though. I did put this above it and I did like it. So I think we're going to add this in too. Yes, very nice. And this rug here, which is gorgeous. And I didn't even know that this is, it existed. I think it's from my wedding stories. It's a little bit too small. So I'm thinking I'm just going to size this up with the tool mod. Maybe just do it like a one point. Can you get a dot in there? 1.3. Let me see how big that will be. Oh, do you know what? That's probably perfect. And then slap this in a darker. So we're still getting in some of that darker vibe that's in the kitchen over onto this area here. And I think that will fit in there quite perfectly. Yes, I'm very much for that, loves. I do like that vibe. I like that vibe. Industrial, but we're going for a warmer, more Scandinavian feel. And that is the mantra. Yes, it is. So... I want a big bit of art here and I'm thinking uh, I want to use the one that I used to death, uh, even though I can't see it. Oh, that one would be, no, <laughs> no, no, but I can't see it. Where are you? This one here from uh, Get Famous and I went through all of the swatches and I just find this one here suits this area a little bit more than the rest of them. So that's what I'm going to do. Yes, we are indeed. Now we do need some kind of side table underneath of here, I think. And the one that I've got in my head is probably going to be either this one. We'll go for a bit more of an industrial vibe. That looks very nice in here. I do like that. Or we could go for the one that Peacemaker made and pop that one in as well. Uh, maybe not in the brown, though. I think we'd probably have to go either lighter with it. Um, oh, I like that. I do like that. Yes. Well, that's it then. That's the ticket, loves, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we'll put that one in there. And I'm thinking a lovely plant on this side. I already have popped in my head the plant that I'm using. And you know I'm just going to use this one because that's my plant. <laughs> I've decided. This plant is mine. I'm going to flop you into that point. Yeah, I'm not going to put it by the doors. In fact, I'm going to bring it out a little bit further and make sure it's not creeping into the wall. Yeah, that's nice. I do like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, here for it. Don't know if I want to put anything up on these like panels here. I think they're fine, like on the wall bits there. I think that is absolutely fine. And I'm kind of for that area. Again, as I said, still kind of semi-minimalist, but lots of interest everywhere. Very much for that. Okie dokie. We're going to move on to the bathroom. The main family bathroom downstairs. Uh, I might change where that door is. I might put it over on this side so it kind of fills this area a little bit better. And then I can maybe shuffle that along a little bit more as well. Do I want to put that up a little bit higher? I think I do. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yes, we'll do that. So that's where the door is going to go. Now, there are many windows in here. So people could indeed peek in, peek in and stare at your pasty while you're having a shower. So you don't really want that. So I'll probably want to put blinds up in here. But what I want to do... Uh, is put in a shower. I'm just trying to think of like orientation. If I can put the bath here, bath there, I could probably put the toilet and the sink next to it there and have like lift this up on a platform. Let's try it. Let's see what we could, let's see what happens. I'm going to grab a fence. We're going to lift up this just by one. That's absolutely fine. Um, I'm going to get this platform here but I'm going to probably use the black in here instead. We'll get rid of that fence just so it saves us money from our 5,700,000 simoleons. Um, 
I think that could work. And have a lovely big shower moment here. Which I may add in. Oh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put... A, I'm going to do a double wall. And I'm going to use these windows here. This one's glitched out. I think I'm going to use these. One there and one there. Like that. Oh, I hate the way that wall, wall was poking through then. Um... Yeah, I think I want to do that. Why have you changed back to brown? What's going on? What is going on with the Sims, please? Uh, let's pop you there then. There then. Now then, now then. Yeah, I think I'll flop you there. And I could even put the shower right there now. I was going to put it on this side, but I think I'll put the shower there. And I think I'm going to use the snowy escape shower in this room. Uh, where are you, my dear? And I'm going to do all black accents in here. Just so I think it would work. Yeah, that looks cute. I do like that. Yes. Unsure about lighting in here just yet. I think I'll just do two spotlights, actually. We'll do one there and one there. Yeah. Now, because we've got this big walk and shower moment, we are limited on space on this side now. So we're going to have to be very clever about where we put things. I mean, I could even put the toilet there, to be honest. So I think I might do that. I'm going to go for everything black in this room as well, just so it really con contrasts against the white tile. Yeah, well, but the toilet there. I definitely want a bath in here. Not sure what bath just yet. Oh, actually. Oh, yes, you'll you'll be lovely in here. Let's pop you in. Excuse you. I'm going to flop you along to maybe there like this. So we've got this moment. Oh, imagine laying in the bath and having this view. I would be very much for it. Yes, I would. And do I want to do a double sink? Or should I just do one? Or maybe even on a unit. Oh, we could put it on a unit. Oh, and I know what unit we're going to use. We'll use this one here. And we'll do a waterfall edge on the other side like that. Yes. And then we can just pop in a black sink into this side now. Uh, it needs to be, it needs to look like a bathroom sink. None of these really do to me. They all look like kitchen sinks. But maybe if I coloured it in black, it would be okay. I don't like that one. This one here. Let's try this one. Um, Yeah, that's, that's fine. That will do. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, we're going to need a mirror here. Do I, maybe I should go all the way across with this one. Or would that be weird? No, I'm not feeling that. Not feeling that vibe. I'm thinking, actually, let's just put this one in. Let's pop that one in there. And we definitely need to pull out some gorgeous things that we can plant around together. So let me do that. And there we go. There we go. I've popped up a few things, including this hideous bloody electric toothbrush that came with that clutter pack. What was that? Was that made in Half-Life 2? Honestly, look at the state of it. The absolute cheek of them using that texture in 2023. Um, well, we did the mirror together. I've also popped up a plant. You're going to get sick to death of me using that plant, but I don't care. Love that plant. And I've also put up some towels on this side. A little hangy um, shampoo and conditioner thing on that side. And a toilet roll in here. And I think that's just how I want it, to be honest. Very nice indeed. And I've also put some light switches everywhere too. Put them in the bathroom. Gorgeous things. Very much for it. Now we're out in the uh, kind of main entrance. I don't really want to do a whole lot here. It's got everything that it would need in this part. It's got its trash chute, the elevator, the lift. Um, what is this? The mailbox. And I also put in a sprinkler system in here. So I don't really want to do too much in here. I think what it does need, though, is maybe just a little bit of greenery. And I'm wondering if this would be the perfect thing to use in here. Do you know what? I think it would be. Like, up against this, like, window bit here. Oh, I'm kind of for it. I am actually kind of for that. I'm going to move these along now that I've put them in. Um, so it's not the most attractive thing to see when you come straight into, um, you know, where you're living. I'm wondering. Ugh, I'm wondering if I could put this anywhere else. Just because I've had an idea. I've had an idea to make this just look a little bit more attractive when you do come into this area. So, I'm thinking about putting this somewhere else. Maybe we could put it outside somewhere. Off, off of one of the balconies. I mean, there would be okay. What about... Oh, no, the other areas are all kind of taken. We'll put it there. We'll put it there. Hopefully they can still get to it. They probably can't. But, you know, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Um... The mailbox. Can I move the mailbox as well? Maybe I could put the mailbox next to the trash chute. Trash. <laughs> Maybe we could pop that to like there. 
And then we've got this whole wall now to do something on, which I'm thinking either a lovely bit of art or a mirror or both. Let's see what I do. So what I've decided to do instead, I was like, oh, they're going to need some kind of storage to put shoes and things in. And I put these mirrors here and I really like how they look. You can check yourself out before you go. It reflects light around gorgeous, gorgeous. And I was just like, they're still going to need somewhere to store coats and things. So what I ended up doing was getting rid of that bookcase that was here. And I put in a little cupboard. And we can just pretend that that is where they store all of their shoes and whatnot. Um, and yeah, that's the vibe that we're going to go for. So to finish off, to just finish off this lovely, lovely place, what we're going to do is put in a little doormat, I think. I think I'm going to put the doormat right here just so they can wipe their shoes and then go ahead and put their shoes straight into the kind of walk-in wardrobe area there. Um, I'm not really keen on how dark that is with everything. It kind of like contrasts really weirdly. But I tried all the other ones and they just don't work for me. Even the white. I mean, that brown's probably a bit better. And the black, I don't know. Mm, do you know what? We'll just leave it. But that is what we've done. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy with this. As I said, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll do the living area. We'll do this small... Well, I'll do that small bathroom off of camera because it's boring. And we'll finish this... Well, we'll do this office as well. Um, but yeah, we are done for today, my darlings. Thank you so much for watching. I think we'll leave on this shot here. Um, I do like how that looks very much. I will be back tomorrow. I'm also going to be live on Twitch tonight at 7 p.m. GMT. We are continuing on with our Rags to Riches build. We are developing the house if you want to come and watch it. But if not, I'll be back tomorrow. Goodbye.